What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to talk about that Ghost Omnimon card. Because I think it's time to try and figure out exactly how much it is actually worth. You see, I've told you about this before. I, I gave a video the other day showing you that this was a thing. And essentially, it is what we're referring to as Ghost Omnimon. It's not the official term, but that seems to be the term everyone agrees with, and that's good by me. And essentially, it is a super-duper, hyper-crazy rare Digimon card, which is actually just a reprint of the Omnimon from BT1, but all white and ghosty. Now, interestingly enough, this was explicitly explained when it was released in Japan that this was to celebrate the first anniversary of the Digimon card game. So there is no equivalent of this card in BT7, and as far as we're aware, there isn't one in BT8, although it may be a little early to say that yet. But this was supposed to be a first anniversary card. Which, of course, then leads to the fairly obvious question of, well, hang on a second... Does that mean we're going to get a card along these lines for the second anniversary of the game? And the answer is quite possibly, but it's a wait and see kind of deal. And of course, we've had a bunch of this card. I mean, it came around in BT1, but there was an alternate art in BT1. And let's not forget, we've also got the Evolution Cup Top 2 promo, which is another alternate art, which is also kind of silly, hyper rare. So I think think it's fair to say that this is a um a pretty crazy rare card the question is how much is it actually worth because you see we're at a stage now where bt6 is out in europe it's not quite out in the us yet but it's out in europe and that means that some sales are actually happening so we can legitimately have a little bit of a look and try and put an approximate value on the card now i have been tracking this over on facebook a lot and to be blunt there are a million listings going up on facebook this card does not seem as rare in the uk and europe etc as it is in the us it certainly seems significantly cheaper because it is significantly less rare so it really is difficult for me to try and give you a listing in the uk of a sold listing on facebook because they all just end up being sold in dm or they end up being listed and not actually being sold so we head on over to our good friend eBay, and we actually have some listings. So in the US, there are a couple of listings, one for about $2,000 from the UK, and one for about $1,740, which is coming from France. And both of those cards have a bunch of watches, though it is absolutely fair to ask the question, are those people watching because they are legitimate potential buyers or are they people like me that are paying attention to it because they're interested to know how much it's actually worth how many of those people have actually pulled a ghost omnimon and are following because they want to see how much it actually sells for for if they go and sell theirs although an interesting question that i would like all of you to answer in the comment section if you pulled one of these would you actually sell it or would you keep it because it's such a gosh darned cool card? Now, as a side note, there are a couple of other listings that we're going to mention but kind of move on pretty quickly. There's a BGS 9.5 for $5,000. There is a $4,000 and a $2,500, which are significantly more. These are listings for the Japanese card. And we know that the Japanese card is rarer than it is over here. Okay, we don't know that for a fact, but it certainly seems to look like it. If you want a Japanese version of this card, you're going to have to look a lot harder to try and find a good deal. I mean, the set's not even out in the US yet, and you can already pick up these Omnimon. You know, you can go right now and buy one for $17.50, whereas trying to buy a Japanese for $17.50 is basically impossible at this stage it's that gosh darned rare so that's what they're being listed at then it looks like around about a two thousand dollar card but of course listings aren't important we want to know what they've actually sold for and the good news is we have two that have actually gone and sold 
and we've got one that sold for $1,400 and one that had a best offer accepted that was listed for about $2,200. Which is awkward because we don't exactly know how much that sold for. So what we can say is that it around about $1,400 seems about right. That seems fair. Again, we have very little data to go on. What's going to happen is that in the next few weeks, as this is released in the US, as more are pulled, as more are sold, we're going to see a lot more sold listings. And as a side note, and I've covered this quite a bit on my other channel, PDCG Radio, where we talk Pokemon, buying singles on set release is actually a terrible idea. When the set released, I really wanted an alternate art pulse mom. And just to be clear, right, I have made absolutely no secret of how much I wanted an alternate art Pulse Mom. And when pre-releases happened, this car was being listed for around about 30 to 40 pounds. As the set came out, the price dropped to around about 25 pounds. And I finally picked one up yesterday for 10 pounds. It finally dropped low enough that I pulled the trigger and ordered one. I could have bought one on pre-release weekend for 30, 40 quid. But... That would have been ridiculous. And to be honest with you, you know, £10 for an old art is generally about as low as they go. But given that I picked one up for £10 before they're even out in the US, there's a chance it could get even cheaper. Buying singles on release is generally a terrible idea. But this is the only information we've got. I just want it on the record that as more are released and more are pulled and more are sold, the price of these is likely to drop. Now, there is also one that was sold, best offer accepted for 5,500, probably comes in somewhere around five grand. However, that is firstly a graded copy, and it's by Beckett, not one of these newer companies. I am not saying anything bad about newer grading companies, there's many of them out there, lots have popped up recently. What I am saying is that when you are trying to add value by grading a card, the reputation of the company is everything. Newer companies, by definition, don't have a reputation, therefore cannot add much value. So if you want to be selling greater Digimon cards, it's PSA, Beckett, and maybe as an outside clear third choice, CGC. There are no other grading companies that are going to add significant value to your cards. But this is graded by Beckett, and it's a Japanese card, so again, although this is, yay, it sold for $5,000, that's a super expensive card, it doesn't actually teach us anything in terms of value. Now, there are actually a couple that are listed over on eBay in the UK, but obviously we need to be very careful about the overlap here in terms of what we've just looked at from the US. So there is one listed for £1,500, but it's the same one that was listed for $2,000. And there is one listed at £1,268, but that's the one coming from France. It's the same one that's listed for £1,740. There is, however, an extra listing here, which is being currently bid for at $600. And as it stands at the moment, there is one bid on, with one day and five hours left. So it is going to be extremely interesting to see whether this sells for $600, which would be significantly lower than other listings and give us a well, pretty much just a new baseline here, or whether this gets bid up at the end. Because we all know the way online auctions work is that most people that want them don't actually bother bidding until the tail end of the auction, and that's when they come jumping in. So it's going to be really interesting to see what actually happens to this one. Um, because I haven't actually given you that in dollars, and we've been working in both currencies so far, if we do a little conversion at the current exchange rate, £600 comes in at something like $820. It's about there. So okay, that's a little bit less. If we have a look at sold listings, what we've got is one that sold for £1,000, but it's the same one that sold for $1,400 in the US from the UK, nine bids. That doesn't give us any new information. So what does that tell us in terms of the value of the card? I think right now we can put an actual value on it, 
again, it, the whole point of this video wasn't just to noodle around. I asked what the value was. I'm going to give you a value. £1,000, $1,400. And for what it's worth, over on Facebook, and again, I've not been able to confirm many sales, so take this with a pinch of salt. But £1,000 looks to be roughly what most people are listing at in terms of the ones that seem to be selling. Again, I can't prove many of these, but £1,000 seems to be about right. So right now we're looking at £1,000 or $1,400. That seems like a fair price. But my warning from earlier in the video absolutely holds here. The chances of this staying here as a set releases in the US and supply absolutely explodes and there are a million more out there almost no chance at all almost no chance at all what is far 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 more likely to happen is that the price of these is just gonna come down honestly pretty gosh darn high so there we go ladies and gentlemen that's what i think about all of this that's the best information i can give you but now i want to hear from you guys so let me know in the comment section would you go nuts be nice and then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Lawasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.